Alrighty, to get started, this is what we're working with. We have the traditional ingredients minus a couple that we used when we said, does your fried, fried rice suck? And the whole point of that video was just trying to elevate your game just a little bit, especially for the beginners who struggle making fried rice. Uh, listed below that video in the description is exactly what we have. So we have the oyster sauce, the soy sauce, the mirin, the sesame oil, the eggs, a couple vegetables. You can change the vegetables as you go. We love the addition of the garlic. My wife loves bean sprouts, so we're getting geared up with this two-part video to make uh, twice cooked pork, twice fried pork. So to do the pork, instead of boiling the pork belly, okay, I went above and beyond. I think I did. I smoked it. Let me show you how we did it. Very simple. We have our Lone Star pellet smoker up to temp. It's uh, about 250 degrees. With the pork belly, there's not much to it. I'm literally just going to take the skin off of this half and then we're going to season it up. Uh, quick tip, our local grocery store typically sells half of the pork belly. What we found, we can buy them at Costco for literally the same price uh, for a whole one. So just be careful when you're buying it. All right, got that make at your house Texas rub that we always use, salt, pepper, garlic, and seasoned salt. That can be found on pellets and pits. Just curious, we say it all the time. Has anybody actually tried it? If you have tried it, what do you think of it? So, lightly seasoned. I don't think I'm going to go too heavy because in both um, recipes, we are going to take on a ton of flavor. So, this will get a ton of seasoning when it's finished. Like always, get the sides and just hit that top. On the pit it goes, and we're going to actually go fat side down, right in the middle, not a big deal. Several hours, we'll pull it and show you what it looks like. And here is the pork belly. We just refrigerated it overnight. Uh, we actually just let it come down to room temperature after we cooked it. Uh, the storm was so bad last night, there's no way we could have talked you through it. A lot of videos that I saw basically take a piece of pork belly and they boil it with like a ginger and garlic and onion. And I was like, man, let's smoke it, right? Smoking's where it's at. So this is what we're gonna do. Obviously we're not gonna use all of it. So this is gonna be the other half for the twice cooked pork. And then it's gonna be our half. So there you go. Look at that. It smells amazing. You wanna try it? <laughs> Heck yeah. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Tender, fatty, soft. Even cold. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm just looking here for some uh, dices. So obviously you can add as much or as little as you like. So maybe three good slices. And to that, we're just gonna dice this up. So let's just give it a good look right there in the middle, the fat and all. So one. The rest of this we're gonna refrigerate and this is going to be our, um, what do you call it? What are we making tomorrow? Twice cooked pork. Yeah, twice cooked pork. We have roughly 16 ounces of your smoked pork belly. So this is the idea. I've mentioned in the past that sometimes you just get kind of in your groove of grocery shopping, right? You walk by so many items that you either look at and you don't use or you look at and you're like, uh-uh, I'm not using that. So I try to step on a limb every once in a while, get out of my comfort zone and just try something different. That's how we came up with the original recipe and then we were like, well, if we have all the ingredients, let's make something else out of it. Hence, smoked pork belly fried rice. I can't name it. I can't even speak the English language. This is fermented bean paste. There seemed like there were options galore. We went to our local Asian market in town and they had plenty of options, right? It's just a lot of stuff in there is overwhelming, especially when you haven't tasted it or understand truly what it is. So that's what we're using today because that is one of the core ingredients when it comes to twice cooked pork. Coincidentally, we can put a uh, link 
in the description if you're interested just to try something new you actually can find these on Amazon uh, we checked before we started the video so there you go uh, I tasted it honestly it's something I can't describe it's almost like you got the fermented taste but it's not sweet it is a little bit salty a hair on the heat side I don't know I think it's gonna work well so this is the idea we have a long hot pepper we found there we have that sweet or the crunchy chili oil that we always use that we absolutely love we have some soy sauce, some red pepper flakes if we need it, and we have poison sauce. So we're just gonna add this, this. That's a little bit of ginger as well. If this recipe turns out, it will be on our website. <laughs> but I gotta taste it before we get there. So the whole idea is I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna render all this fat out of the pork and try to make it like crispy, add this sauce, and then at the very end, mix this with our fried rice. At the very end. Good. Well, see what Spicy? you think. Spicy? Well, no, I won't say it. Well, I mean, I think it's got a heat, but I don't think it's, I think it turned mm -hmm. out well. Ooh, that, that's good. I think it'll mix with <laughs> the pork. Um, that is going to be really good with that pork, pork belly. Wow. Boy, that's good. All right, that might be a staple in the pantry. Try try something new. Yep, see what happens. All righty, so what I'm going to start doing is crisping up this pork. And then with that belly fat, that renders out. See what we're looking for? See that color right there? That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to use that fat for the rice. Might as well. Alrighty, that pork's looking good. You can see what kind of color we're working with. That's kind of like your target. You see how much grease, oil, fat is left on the griddle. That's gonna be perfect. The griddle's still on low, but that's gonna be perfect for our rice. Day old rice, we cooked it yesterday. We put it in the refrigerator and just let it cool down. make that uh, garlic really cook down on that butter get soft we've done a lot of fried rices and I really truly believe that uh, this is where the most impact comes from besides adding sauces you can eliminate a lot of sauce and just go with the garlic but man once you get in that butter get that garlic all nice and soft and fragrant and then mix it up it is fantastic this is our secret right here don't tell anyone because I'll be doing it all right right before the garlic gets starting like the brown and stuff you can see what the color we're looking at all that butter's melted. There we go. Just that one little tip right there will give you fantastic fried rice. That alone, yeah. setting this side up for our scrambled eggs, so make sure you get that cleaned off. If you have any bits or anything, scrape it. Get it back to its purest form, so that way you don't have any stickage. So 
the oyster. If you're wondering why I'm pouring off on the side, it's the old technique when you do wok cooking. Sometimes they push the stuff on the side of the wok and it's so hot that it kind of evaporates and kind of condenses. Uh, just mirroring those same ideas here. The whites of the green onions, the bamboo shoots. My wife likes them, I don't. She gets what she wants. I don't. All right, spread it out, let it dry out a little bit. Just a little butter for the eggs. I'm gonna hold off on the salt and pepper and the eggs, or even the rice, because that pork had that Texas rub on there, which had it was like pretty pepper heavy, so I'm just trying to balance those flavors. Some people will say you scramble eggs on the side, then add them. Some people add the wet eggs to the rice in from. We like a combination of the both. So what you're gonna see here is us pouring eggs down with the butter. That's gonna be our hard eggs. And then we're literally just gonna go right in here in this little area. We think it just adds like a richness to the rice without overpowering it. at the very end add the tops of those green onions and technically oh yeah one last little touch just a little bit of sesame oil one good mix and technically that should be done for your fried rice We raise this side of the grill up to like a medium because now we're going to start on that reduction. It's going to happen extremely quick. So I'm going to start those peppers off. So explain to us real quick about the peppers. I taste them. They say hot, long peppers. It's one of the ingredients that goes in the other recipe we were making. It almost tastes like a medium banana pepper. It's got that crunch to it. Um, I don't exactly know what it is. I'm not the world's, I don't know everything. Add that pork back in there. Warm those peppers up. I'm gonna add just a touch of water. It was gonna evaporate out, but it's gonna help us not reduce so fast. All right, whole griddle's off. We're just letting that sauce reduce on the pork. I'm not looking to make this saucy. I want that sauce to stick to the pork. And now we're just gonna mix. See that crispiness on the bottom? I love it when it happens like that. So while I was washing dishes, my wife was out here chowing down. I was trying to get a true reaction of the first bite. I haven't even asked her if it feels good or not. I've been avoiding the question. So this is my honest opinion. First bite, no offense or butts. Actually, let me try that. Well, I guess the fried rice is the same. Try that pork belly, that sauce. One ingredient we did not add was a crushed red pepper just for like kind of like playing it safe because I knew the the um, the pepper was going to be spicy there's some spicy ingredients in there it's not too spicy the pork is really good the fried rice is really good yep I knew that the pork wasn't going to be saucy but I'm surprised that there's not more flavor like I think it's so balanced that something has to give something needs to pop yeah I almost wish the sauce we had not cooked the sauce as long on the griddle so it was a little bit more saucy 
Because that sauce was fantastic. You know what I mean? Or add more bacon or pork belly. Yeah. The pork belly is amazing. The fried rice is amazing. Yeah. I do think it is one of the best fried rices that we've ever made. Yeah, I can I see just that. feel like a lot of times fried rice is not the most flavorful thing, you know? This is definitely way better than what you get at a Chinese restaurant, though. Oh, yeah. So, like an 8 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah. But, of course, we're we're super critical. And that's without <laughs> adding any extra, like, accompaniments. Like, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that you could add to it to help it go a long ways. We just kept it basic. But I'm really glad I did it. That's what it's all about. Griddle cooking and cooking in general, whether inside, smoking, whatever, is just stepping on a limb and trying a new ingredient. Um, overall, fantastic. It, I just wish it had just a, a hair more pop, and that could either be by heat or acidity. Um, or a sauce that you add. Yeah, I think the sauce. The sauce was amazing. I do wish there was like more sauce of the pork belly sauce. But that would would that be a t traditional fried rice? Probably not. <laughs> okay. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Mm. I don't want them. The pork in that sauce is fantastic. Mm. When you get everything together, I know. I'm excited for that twice cooked pork. <laughs>